The Theft of the Draft Having reached the interior of the mountain, Odin reassumed his usual godlike form and starry mantle, and then presented himself in the stalactite hung cave before the beautiful Gunlud. He intended to win her love as a means of inducing her to grant him a sip from each of the vessels confided to her care. Won by his passionate wooing, Gunlid consented to become his wife, and after he had spent three whole days with her in this retreat, she brought out the vessels from their secret hiding place and told him he might take a sip from each. And a draft obtained of the precious mead drawn from Ode Hrorer, Odin's Rune Song, Thrope's Translation. Odin made good use of this permission, and drank so deeply that he completely drained all three vessels. Then, having obtained all that he wanted, he emerged from the cave and, donning his eagle plumes, rose high into the blue and after hovering for a moment over the mountain top, winged his flight towards Asgard. He was still far from the gods' realm when he became aware of a pursuer, and indeed Suttung, having also assumed the form of an eagle, was coming rapidly after him with intent to compel him to surrender the stolen mead. Odin therefore flew faster and faster, straining every nerve to reach Asgard before the foe should overtake him. And as he drew near, the gods anxiously watched the race. Seeing that Odin would only with difficulty be able to escape, the Aesir hastily gathered all the combustible materials they could find, and as he flew over the ramparts of their dwelling, they set fire to the mass or fuel, so that the flames, rising high, singed the wings of Suttung as he followed the god, and he fell into the very midst of the fire where he was burned to death. As for Odin, he flew to where the gods had prepared vessels for the stolen mead, and disgorged the draft of inspiration in such breathless haste that a few drops fell and were scattered over the earth. There they became the portion of Rhymesters and Potesters, and the gods, reserving the main draft for their own consumption, and only occasionally vouchsafing a taste to some favored mortal, who, immediately after, would win worldwide renown by his inspired songs. Of a well-assumed form, I made good use. Few things fail the wise, for Ode Horror. It is now come up to men's earthly dwellings. Hava Mal, Thrope's Translation. As men and gods owed the priceless gift to Odin, they were ever ready to express to him their gratitude, and they not only called it by his name, but they worshipped him as patron of eloquence, poetry, and song, and of all skalds. So that was The Theft of the Draft, the third section of Chapter 6 of Myths of the Norsemen by Helen A. Gerber, Bragi. I will be working my way through this book section by section, and if there are any other public domain books that you would like for me to read, please leave a comment below. Did you enjoy this video? Then subscribe for more, and be sure to check me out on Facebook and Patreon. Thank you for listening, and have a lovely evening.